Men's ice hockey coming off of a road trip against Hobart in Elmira College in which they're outscored 11-1, looking to get some revenge, taking on Johnson and Wales at home on Friday night, part of a home-and-home -home series in the Beacons. Firing on all cylinders in this one for the full 60 minutes. Scoring chances galore against Jake Perrin. 21 shots on goal against Perrin in just the first period alone. And it would eventually pay off as Ryan Rowland nets his first goal of the season on the power play from Jazz Kripsoff with a sniper from the top of the circles. The Beacons ahead 1-0. And then Davis Browning gets his first collegiate goal. You see Browning firing from the right side and ricochets off of Perrin and net, and then a defender in front and back into the net. And just like that, the Beacons are up 2 to nothing. Sam Best, strong in net for UMass Boston. Really didn't have to do too, too much in this game, but he had 16 saves. And then the Beacons add another. Andy Walker, his second goal of the season from Jacob Banks, who wrapped around in front to find Walker at the point. And just like that, the Beacons with a three-goal lead in the second period and shots galore continuing to rain on Perrin and that you see Jacob Banks on a breakaway opportunity there is denied by Perrin and then Evan Guggen's a really good shot opportunity here nobody in front of him it just goes high and wide but then we go back over to Sam Best and he has to make some saves we're going to see some here in the second period a nice ricochet is turned away and then Best in the third period a few big saves a turnover in front He's there to stop it. And another one right there with the goal seemingly wide open. He swallows it up best. Another save. Part of his seven saves in the third period en route to that 16 save performance. Ty Matthews, a golden opportunity here against Perrin. A beautiful save. And then Owen Bordeaux off of the turnover. A breakaway. Second goal of the season unassisted. It squirts by Perrin. Beacons up 4 to nothing, And then... Coley Benkowskis, his third goal of the season on the empty net with just over two minutes left, makes it 5 0 Beacons. The Beacons go on to win this one 5 1 after the Wildcats get a late goal. They end up taking on Johnson and Wales tomorrow on the road as part of the home and home series at 4 o'clock p.m. tomorrow. The Beacons now 13 0 all time against Johnson and Wales.